My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet with many parts lost. The Skeetal Hall of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I am stranded. To make matters worse, my atmosphere sensors indicate that the planet's atmosphere contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can only function can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. Better not think about it. Must find the missing ship parts. Hello, let's go watch here, and I'm here for my new left play of Pikmin for the Wii. The Pikmin was originally a game um, made for the GameCube in 2001 and later ported in 2009 to the Nintendo Wii with new controls under the title of New Play Control. There's also other New Play Control games um, of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat um, um, and Mario Power Tennis. There's also, but in um, that, but in other countries like Europe and especially Japan, there was other other new play controls, including Metroid Prime and also Pikmin 2. But for um, Pikmin 3 that's coming out this year, um, Nintendo is going to release Pikmin 2 for the Wii in North America this June. Hence why I'm LPing this, because I want this LP to end right when that game comes out, so I can do the launch date LP of it along with this game, or a sequel, but anyways. A strange thing has appeared before me. I have barely begun my short search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall too call this an onion too. Okay. Anyway. What you want to do is just knock down these. A button to punch, by the way. The Wii remote sensor is moving this thingamajigger. And we'll explain the controls in a sec. Also, this is Nunchuck. And, um, Nunchuck. Of course, control sticks to move. It's with the Nunchuck, by the way. You have to play that way. Anyways, what is this strange mechanism? Oh, thingamajigger. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil as as now produced an adorable little sprout. It sprout and emanates a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it's calling me. I am compelled to approach it and press A. A is in green. I don't know why. Probably because of the A button on the GameCube screen and it's a like a GameCube game, but if you go close up to it and press A. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is familiar to a pick pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I should call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research the fascina this fascinating creature. I shall grab it with A, then throw it in the direction I point, purple, and I will call it by my side with B. Hmm. It will react. To see, pressing down, pointing at the wall. The following controls appear to be be followed for several viewpoints. Z to rotate the camera behind Olimar, left and right to zoom on the control spec, and up to change direction on the control pad. I must survive. I need to familiar myself, familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. So yes, yeah, just as I said, change to change the camera behind Olimar, you just press Z. Up is to change perspectives, just do perspectives. Left and right is to zoom. And a C. No. Yeah. A different move. But while, uh, if you hold down 2 and move the control stick, it will command the Pikmin in that way. Like, say, go in front of me. 
and stuff, and whoa, what the fuck? What does this pigment think of me? It must observe it. I must absor observe its reactions. The more things I try, the more reactions I can catalog. I shall attempt to grab and throw it with a call. I was just explaining that, okay? Tutorial, I think. Anyways, you can dismiss it with C so it won't follow you, and call it back with B while pointing at it, because it's like a little range thing. Like, you'll only ca call back the Pikmin if it's in the range, like B. I just press B, it's not in the range, so it won't come back. But if it's in the range, it'll come back. Yay. Anyways, one, and then A to throw it where you point. So, if I throw it here, I'll throw it. If there was an onion in the way, I'll throw exactly right down there. And as you can see, if it goes really far away, it goes into two things. One is for throwing, and the other one's for calling. You can call with the big one, and throw with the little one. You can only throw a certain distance, but you can call farther. Farther. In the GameCube version, it was shortened, and the uh, cursor was just this, right in front of you. And, um... If you tight, uh, lightly move the control stick and move, and it was actually very good control, but you couldn't go like really far and stuff. And then this game you can call and throw farther, and this is a real-time strategy game, so it will help in the long run and make this game very different gameplay from the original. The onion has shown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvest after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can call the complicated words more Pikmin. Yay, make more Pikmin. The onion seems to be some sort of incubator. Needless to say, needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Yep. But technically, the Pikmin didn't cut down, I did, so it's a stupid game. And, what is this? It makes more Pikmin! Oh, it gets blood dogs! And more, and more, and more. See, so, yeah. And as you can see, when you cut down the, um, Possum Palace, also Pikmin can cut it down. There's a life bar for them, but also, more importantly, there's a fraction. The top fraction is how many Pikmin are carrying it. The bottom fraction is how many I need, so I can actually carry with more than the needed amount, and um, they will carry it faster. There is a maximum though, that one only can go up to two, carrying, but yeah, it's usually double its amount, sometimes it's a little different, but whatever, in certain circumstances, but whatever. Here's a five pellet, where it takes five to come to carry it, so yeah. That is the basics of this game, and this game is going to be like that. And yeah, it's a real-time strategy. Nintendo's first main franchise is real-time strategy. Nintendo makes to make a seems to make a series for each genre, except they made multiple RPG ones, three to be exact. I don't know why. Actually, more than three, four. They made Paper Mario. They made Earthbound slash Mother. They made Pokemon, and they made Fire Emblem. Yeah. A little too RP many RPGs for my taste, but whatever. I'm not really an RPG guy. So whatever. Whatever. And maybe it's good because he doesn't want to become like Sega where they freaking put all their franchises into Sonic and try to like push Sonic to be like every single franchise. Like seriously. What happened to the Knights games and stuff or whatever, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Just whatever. <clears throat> yeah, it is kind of annoying that um, when you pluck them, the camera zooms in, but it'll go away after a few days. This is a day-based game in the top right corner, so... Anyway, right here's a fraction. You can move with the down and point. Instead of throwing, you can do that instead of throwing for them to carry things and do things. This is an alternate or way that will become very useful later. Um, and, yeah, it pushes the... It takes ten Pikmin to push that. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form in groups to perform tasks that will be impossible for an individual. A, a glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If 
if I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pokemon combat. The blah 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 controls. Ah, uh -huh. Controls we don't need to know. They just repeat the controls like three times in this. Whatever. On this day, you want by the end of the day, you want to have 25 Pikmin. This is, is a real time strategy, and it will benefit you by the end. So by the end of this day, day one, you want 25 Pikmin. Just saying. Like just saying. I need a Pikmin. I need a Pikmin. I need a Pik. You can do your stuff over there. No, throw your things. Stupid thing. Another thing I don't like about the Wii version is that the con the all the like the like the C stick thing. The, uh, yeah, that's the controls in the GameCube version. I'm just saying that because the GameCube version, because I grew up with it. But um, with the down D pad thing, um, you might accidentally press the. If you're trying to do quickly, you might accidentally press right or left, which changes the perspectives. Anyways, when many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done by one, once by repeatedly tapping A until I pluck the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that I add, when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with enchantment and flushed with bright color. At other times, they'll revert to the paler hoe that'll give them a dim glow. Pay close attention to these differences. It is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Yep. And also, they spell color wrong. Color is C O L U. C O L O U R. That is the Canadian and British way of saying it. There's only the, Americans are like the only people who speak English and make and say words without use. I have no idea why. Funny little Americans. You know, bomber ruin your language. I don't know. I just mean racist at this point or whatever. Not really a race mess now or whatever. A thing is, and as you can see, we have 25 Pikmin, so we're pretty much good. For this day of Pikmin, we just need to pluck them first. Hurry up, grow! Dumb. No, my Pikmin! No. Another thing is that you might accidentally throw Pikmin instead of pluck them. Or when you're trying to throw Pikmin somewhere, you might accidentally- And there's Pikmin in the ground near the onion. Um, you might accidentally pluck them. And that isn't too much of a problem now, but it'll probably become a problem later in the game. But for now, let's just see what this mechanism is. Shiny! Ooh. Amazing! You've encountered a shiny engine! What? Ah. There's no mistaking it, my ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get back to the do how will I get back to the dolphin? Hmm. Very good question. Labor! Yeah, as you can see, the camera move jerks all around because you might accidentally press left or right on the D-pad while you're trying to just press down and point and stuff. <laughs> spinny, spinny, spinning round, spinny, spinny, spinning round. I love the cursor. So crazy! <laughs> okay. So what we have to do is wait. There's nothing else to do. No no Oh, glory! 
this with the help of these Pikmin, I've taken back a I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship has can once again lift off. A glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of my remaining ship parts? This ship starts tomorrow. Day one since impact, I have somehow managed to launch a dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or they have merely decided to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems that they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may not, never return home to my family on planet Hakutate. And analyzes show analytics show me I don't even know how to say that word even the YouTube thing shows the life support system will function for only 29 more days how can I repair my ship part in such a short time I descend I just yeah force is visible on the surface below as it holds the key to my survival I'll name it the force the Pope I'll explore tomorrow yay Force of hope. See ya! 29 sharp uh, ships, 29 days to do it. Ship parts. Yep, so we have to get at least one ship part a day on average. Well, that's gonna be fun anyway. Here's a chart, it shows my picking population for the whole day, how much I grew, how much sprouted, how much sprouted in the total, how much lost in battle, how much left in battle in total, and left behind is um, if you, if your Pikmin are just laying around when you leave, you will leave them behind and they'll die. Yeah, yeah, they have to either be called to you or near the onion to get back into the onion in time so they don't die. Anyways! Here is the map screen. It'll show what day you're about to do in the top right corner, day two. Um, it'll show the areas you can go to, the impact site or the force poke, the ship parts, the Pikmin, and um, those stars are also the ship parts you have in the area, so we got one out of two in this area, and we have a hunk ton here, and if we press plus, you can see all of his logs that he said at the end of each day, so yeah. All the way up to 30. Anyways, but that will be enough for this episode, guys. So in the next episode, we are going to start off day two at the Forest of Hope. See you guys then.